first things first, lemon water. So every morning I have, well, most mornings, I try and do this every single morning and when I'm on it, I'm on it and I'm consistent. Anyways, this is just a tumbler I got from Starbucks. It's 750 milliliters. I know a lot of people only have a cup of water um, or a glass of water, but I like to just start getting hydrated. I'm also not that hungry right when I wake up. By sipping on my water, it allows me to like wake up and actually feel hungry. So that's when I'll have my Bulletproof. You guys know that ever since I started taking collagen, I've been using Vital Proteins. A few weeks ago, one of my viewers messaged me and told me that she saw collagen peptides at Bulk Barn. I love Bulk Barn. I've had this for about a week or two and I have not tried the collagen peptides. I'm gonna go ahead and empty this into that because I have literally three big tubs of this and I'm gonna try this in my Bulletproof today. Okay, so something I just wanna say, I think there's all <laughs> collagen on the screen. Something I just wanna say about the uh, collagen from Bulk Barn. I did reach out to them and ask for a little bit more information about where the collagen was sourced. I'll insert the email now. I have my Nutribullet cup. So I'm just taking the scoop out of the collagen from Vital Proteins. I'm gonna take a scoop of the Bulk Barn collagen. Now, just from looking at these two, they look very similar. I'm gonna go over this quickly because I've done this so many times, beef gelatin. I already put cinnamon in with the coffee, and now I'm just gonna take some adaptogens, maca, ashwagandha, the ghee. If you're in Montreal, there's no place in Montreal that's authorized to sell. Fourth and heart ghee, I order it off Lucky Vitamins. Then I take a capful of of the brain octane oil, organic cream honey. The coffee's ready to be pressed. Oh my God, I just went to blend and plug it in and my honey was right here. So my bulletproof is done. I don't know why, I just always shake it a little. And sometimes, okay, listen, they don't recommend that you um, use hot liquids in these but I think that's just to cover their asses because I haven't had an issue. Um, but something I do always do is take a dish towel and I put it on top. It makes it easier to grip. And also if there's any like, like you might hear some like hot water releasing, it catches it. Oh my God, it looks so good. Let's see how this um, bulk barn collagen does. Tastes the same so far. No gritty texture so far. So. Hey guys, so I just wanted to come on here really quick and talk a little bit about collagen because I've been talking about collagen probably since May and I still get so many questions about it, why I take it, if I really notice a difference. And I guess people just want to know, does it really work? I'm like a collagen pusher. My boyfriend is always making fun of me because somehow in every conversation, collagen comes up, whether it's the person asking me or someone saying like, oh, well, like, what are you doing to your skin? Asking me about Bulletproof Coffee. It just comes up. So I figured I would talk a little bit about it because to me it's just something that I've incorporated into my life every single day since May but I don't always remember that not everyone is doing the same thing as me so today I just want to talk a little bit about collagen what it is why I take it and why it's such a miracle product and why I think everyone <laughs> should be taking it I actually started taking collagen religiously in May I have a video from 2015 where I had um, a company had sent me collagen and I used it for about a month I liked it but I didn't really take it seriously for me I love putting my collagen or beef gelatin in my bulletproof coffee because it's a way that I know I'm gonna have it every single day back in the day when I had the other brand of collagen I did not put it in coffee I just put it in smoothies and I don't have a smoothie every single day so now that I have something that I put it in every single day it makes it really easy to reap the benefits so what is collagen collagen is a protein that is found in our bodies collagen is found in our hair skin nails ligaments tendons joints and it helps our bodies kind of like you know you know like when you hear like a greasy door like in our body, collagen helps keep everything not squeaking and everything running smoothly. When we grow older, our bodies stop producing as much collagen, which is why it was really important for me to get my mom on collagen because she suffers from rheumatoid arthritis, and I'll talk more about that in a second. So another issue and why a collagen supplement is so important is because in today's day and age, our food doesn't have a lot of collagen naturally, so that's why getting a supplement is really, really important. I started incorporating it every single day into my Bulletproof Collagen Coffee. Collagen is actually made up of amino acids, so it's very high in amino acids, which helps with muscular growth, joint issues, which is why it's so great for my mom's rheumatoid arthritis, and also just for hair, skin, and nails, and keeping your skin glowy. My favorite brand of collagen is Vital Proteins. This is the only brand I've used like religiously. A fun fact, if you, I think Bulk Barn is all over Canada, but they actually have their own version of um, collagen, and as you'll see in the clip from this morning, I tried it and I can't uh, really tell a difference 
difference. But with that said, my main issue is that Bulk Barn doesn't provide a ton of information about where it's sourced, the, the buildup of the collagen. But what makes Vital Proteins so great is that Vital Proteins contains 18 amino acids. I feel confident using Vital Proteins, which is why I purchase it and my mom purchases it and why I recommend it for everyone. Another reason why I love collagen so much is because it's very high in protein. One scoop contains nine grams of protein, which is why I think it helps keep me full so long. I notice a really big difference in my hair. I think skin is really, has to do a lot with water intake and you know, not touching your face. I have a whole video that I don't think many of you watch all about how I keep my skin healthy, how I clear breakouts really fast. So I'll link it down below. If you guys watch my hair video, you know that when I gained weight, my hair really started to grow because I was giving myself nutrients that I was depriving myself of for so long when I was very restrictive with my diet. I noticed a huge difference in my hair once I started taking the collagen. How I know there's a difference is I have a balayage hair and my hair, I used to have to get it done. And by when I say get it done, I mean like brought up, the color brought up so that it doesn't look too overgrown. I used to have to get my hair done twice a year, maybe. I literally have to go every month and a half to get the color brought up because my roots grow so fast. And in the back, I have like a, a big dark patch whenever my hair grows out. So I always have to get it done. So I know my hair is growing really fast because I used to not have to get my hair done. Another way I really know it's working is because my mom suffers very badly from rheumatoid arthritis. When I started getting into all these health changes, I started looking up nutritional therapy. I wanted to help my mom because nothing was really helpful helping her. She was taking these crazy like biohazard, like she would have to put in a biohazard bag shots for her rheumatoid arthritis because it was so unbearable for her and it was so painful and she couldn't even like open her hands. I think my mom and I are gonna film a video all about the supplements that she takes because so many people have messaged me and said my grandma has rheumatoid arthritis or my dad and I wanna get, I wanna help them because if you have a loved one who suffers from rheumatoid arthritis or arthritis in general, you know it can be really, really hard to watch. My mom used to have to take one of those like biohazard shock, uh, shots every single week and now she tells me she, sp she can space out these shots that she has to take instead of every week now she does it every three to four weeks which which is a drastic improvement compared to how often she used to have to do it another way I can tell a big difference in my mom is her hair used to never grow Tony and I would always be like mom you get haircuts like we never see your hair grow and I was why walked in on her getting ready one day and her hair was in the back and it grew so much I really think it's due to collagen because she hasn't changed anything else in her diet I'm trying trust me and that's why I'm so passionate about it I just want everyone to try it because it's such a amazing supplement with that said um, I got a lot of people saying well, how do I know if it's working like when will I notice the differences? This is a supplement your body needs to absorb it So it's not gonna be like an overnight thing that you're gonna wake up with luscious long locks or like glowing skin or Reduced joint pain you need to take it consistently I would say probably for about a month before you start to notice differences and for me That's why it's so easy to just put it into my coffee I don't even think about it and that's what my mom does. She puts it into her coffee I think you need to go in knowing that because if you think you're gonna wake up the next morning after only taking one scoop and expect your hair to grow it's not gonna grow like that I think you need to be consistent with it and take it on a regular basis for your body to absorb it and be able to like get the nutrients you know what I mean so now I just want to talk a little bit about the difference between um, the beef gelatin and the collagen peptides because I have both the biggest difference is that the collagen peptides can dissolve in hot or cold liquids perfectly so if you want to put this in a smoothie or just a glass of water or in a glass of juice you can because it'll dissolve in hot or cold liquids beef gelatin does not dissolve in cold liquids. It dissolves in hot liquids. Let's say you make a coffee and you let it cool, you don't drink your entire coffee. If you have beef gelatin in it, you'll go back to your cup of coffee and it's like coffee jello because once it cools, it solidifies to like a gelatin consistency. If you see my Bulletproof recipe, you know that I put about a third of a scoop of beef gelatin and a scoop of the collagen peptides. The reason why I don't do an entire scoop of beef gelatin is because it makes the coffee really, really creamy and very heavy. And for me, it's not as enjoyable. If you're new to collagen and you're interested in picking something up, I would say go for the collagen peptides they're way more universal, hot liquids, cold liquids. I put this in oatmeal, I put this in smoothies, I put this in granola bars, I put this in granola. I put this shit in everything. For me, it's just more of a universal product and it's what I personally enjoy more. But um, the beef gelatin, you can make like gummy bears with it, you can make fun stuff like that. Something new that I purchased at the Brow Bar here in Montreal is the Bone Broth Collagen. And this is the beef flavor. And the reason why I got this is because I've been really into soups lately. So I'll probably be incorporating this into some recipes this week. You 
you can drink this straight up. A lot of people consider bone broth to be like a superfood. So you can mix this and drink this like a soup. You can use this like as a beef bouillon um, to add flavor to your soups, which I think is really cool. It's organic, it's gluten free, there's no MSG. There is, is there sodium? There's a little bit of sodium, 70 milligrams. Something I just wanna say is collagen is not vegan. It is not vegetarian. It is made from bovine hides. That may gross you out. Someone told me about a vegan option, but Vital Proteins does not have any vegan or vegetarian collagen options. I just wanted to address that because a lot of people do say, oh, like, what's the vegan option? I'm not vegan, so, oh my god, look at my necklace <laughs> sparkling. This is the Zodiac, oh my god, the Zodiac necklace by Coffee Couture. I am not a vegan or vegetarian, so for me, it's not an issue. If you are vegan or vegetarian, you can do your own research. And I also get questions like, is this going to lead to weight gain. In my experience, no. It's not a weight loss product. It's not a weight gain product. It's just something that I incorporate into my daily routine. Can you use this to gain weight? Sure. If you're mixing it into certain things and eating certain things and, you know, doing that, can you use it to lose weight? Absolutely. But it's not like a weight loss product or a weight gain product. And each scoop has like 35 calories, nine grams of collagen. So it's not a calorie dense thing. It's basically just like a miracle scoop. So I hope that provided you guys with some extra information because I know I talk about it a lot and I get a lot of questions about it. So I think I covered pretty much everything that I'm normally asked about. Of course, you guys will be along for the ride this week. I think I'm going to make some sort of soup with this. I'm really excited to try it. Cheryl at the brow bar, she was like, this is the best thing ever. Like, have you tried it? You need it. It's so delicious. So I'm really excited and you can just put it into so many different things. Lunch, I'm craving something a little bit more hearty. It's also pretty cold here. So I don't want a smoothie today. Um, so I'm going to do avocado toast with some eggs. These are pretty small eggs. So I think I'm going to do one yolk and one egg white. I'm not the biggest fan of yolk, but since it's so small, I think I'm going to use it. St. Francis Herb Farm. It's coconut oil and ghee. I've been using this like since the beginning of summer, lasts a really long time, and I like my eggs well done, so, oh, my little burner's off. In my eggs, I just put salt, um, garlic pepper, and smoked paprika. I the bread I'm using today is um, another sprouted bread. It's by the brand Silver Hills. The calories are a little bit higher, like as opposed to Ezekiel bread, which is why I like using this bread when I'm using only one slice of something. I just mashed half of a guacamole up, a guacamole, an avocado. I have about a wedge of lemon juice. I love lemony avocado. A little bit of smoked paprika, a little bit of Montreal steak spice, and sriracha. And the sriracha makes it sort of like gray and not as pretty, but it tastes so good and then i'm just going to sprinkle some of my homemade um everything but the bagel like seasoning that i made i have a recipe on it from like a while back if you're interested i just like sprinkling this on top and i'm going to cut it and the egg is almost ready the egg i kind of made into a little omelet and i can cut some pieces off with my fork and i'm probably going to have this with a kombucha and if i'm still hungry i'll have some yogurt and granola but i think this will fill me up i got this at costco yesterday it is del rose organic basmati rice and lentils gluten-free usda organic i got this because i was out of my brown rice and i am going to cook this up in my rice cooker if you don't have a rice cooker, you need to go get one. By the way, I made my own nail polish color. I like mixed a few colors that I had because I wanted, I'm obsessed with this color. Lulu has a color, it's called quicksand. It's like exactly this color. Every time I go into Lulu, I'm like, are you gonna get leggings in quicksand? It's just like the prettiest color. I am obsessed with it. So if you know where I can get leggings, this color, let me know. Laugh at my parfait vessel, but I wanted to be able to show you guys like the layers. So I just used a clear mug. Greek yogurt, homemade granola made in day, day one, blueberries, raspberries, yogurt, granola, strawberries, perfect little snack. For dinner tonight, Mike is obsessed with Buddha bowls and I wanted to do one a little bit different. So here's the rice that I made before. I have some grilled red peppers, some chicken and mushrooms. I have some broccoli on the stove. We have an avocado. Mike likes it with the Farm boy, I'm gonna use the dressing I made in the first Buddha bowl, and now we're just gonna make our bowls. This is tonight's bowl. Um, I just really like bowls, and honestly, they're really easy to make, so I just have some um, grilled red peppers, chicken and mushrooms, avocado, uh, broccoli, which I just sauteed with some salt, garlic powder, and then some of my coconut aminos. Super good crispy broccoli, and then on the top, I just put um, some of the dressing I made in day one. And it's like my favorite dressing, so I'm gonna put some more on. There's no oil in it. So this is kind of like a Mexican-Asian fusion bowl. 